Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have the Huawei 4G Router 2 Pro. This is a 4G Wi-Fi router and this router has dual band Wi-Fi that is 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz Wi-Fi and it supports something called dual broadband turbo that is it can use both 4G as well as broadband internet for a stable internet connection. So in this video I'm going to unbox this router and I will set up the router using the Huawei app and I'll also compare the speed of the 4G network to my Samsung Galaxy S10 5G mobile. I have a 5G network but I'll test it using the 4G network because this router has only 4G network capability. And coming to the specifications, as I have said earlier, it has 150 Mbps speed 4G modem and it also has a 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz network. It has Gigabit LAN ports and it can support broadband connection of up to Gigabit speed and it has a dual broadband turbo that means that it can use the 4G network as well as the broadband network together so that will provide a reliable connection if the broadband fails and it can be connected to the Huawei app and it has a dual core processor. We can put a network SIM card directly to this modem router. Now let's unbox it and see what is there inside says open here so let's open it so this is the router and let's check the other accessories and that's it and uh, these are the user manual so here we can see that it supports only micro sim and it doesn't support nano sim or it doesn't support the mini sim so let's open this uh, router so there is some uh, quick setup guide and this is the router itself as you can see and there is a power button and this is the WPS button or the H button in the Huawei routers. It has uh, 4 gigabit ethernet ports here. This one is the WAN port or the LAN port. If you are using only the 4G network then this will this, you can use this as a LAN port as well. But if you want to use the broadband internet then you can connect your WAN port here and you can use the remaining three as a LAN port. This is the power input and the reset button here. And the 4G micro SIM can be inserted here. Another advantage of this router is that you can put some external antennas. So if you open this, so it can it supports some external antennas for your 4G router. So if you put this uh, module inside your house, then you can put your external antennas outside your house and get a better speed. So that is good. So we need to put this stand so let's see how to put that so if you want to put the stand then you can just insert the stand like this just match the holes in the router with, with the plastic uh, holders here and you can just press it inside like this and now it is fixed as you can see so let's keep the other things aside let's take the power cable now so this is a uh, 12 volt 1 amp power supply and the power jack is the standard 5.5 mm DC jack. Let's check the cable length. The cable length is 1.5 meters. Now before setting up the router and putting the sim inside the modem here, let us test the speed of the 4G internet uh, on the mobile phone. So let's turn off the Wi-Fi and I'll turn on the mobile data. Currently it is connected to the 5G network so I need to disable the 5G network by going to the settings. And here I can select LTE or LG Auto only to disable the 5G network for a fair comparison. So now it has changed to the LTE network as you can see. Now let's check the speed of the 4G network. The download speed is 10 Mbps and the upload speed is also 10 Mbps. As you can see the speed is quite low indoors. So that was the speed test. Now let's set up this router and see whether it can perform better than the mobile phone. I'll take out the SIM card from the mobile phone. And this is a nano SIM so I need an adapter for putting here. It needs a micro SIM. These are the SIM adapters that I have. I have a nano SIM here and this is the nano SIM to micro SIM adapter. And this is the nano SIM to the mini SIM adapter. And this is the micro SIM to the mini SIM adapter. But I need only this one so let's put it here. So now my SIM has been converted to a micro SIM. Let's put it here. It says micro SIM only. So the SIM orientation should be like this. The cut here should go like this and uh, the connections are on top. 
so the golden connection should be on top like this and then you can press it in until you hear a click so as you can see it is now inserted so now let's power it on so i'll power it on here these are the indicator lights power indicator the internet indicator and the wi-fi indicator as you can see the power indicator is on the internet indicator is red because it is not set up yet and the wi-fi indicator is on here so we can connect to the wi-fi of the router so connect to the huawei b316 wi-fi so it is now connected without internet so if it asks please keep the connection and now you can go to the huawei ai live app it has found this router so we can configure it and i don't want to participate in their user experience program so just uncheck that one and we can get started so you can select the signal strength and you can also prioritize to 5 gigahertz network and you need to set your wi-fi ssid this is the wi-fi ssid you can set you need to enter your wi-fi password so enter the password and you can also set the same uh, password as the admin password or you can set a different password here for now i'll set the same password but it is better for you to set a different password for the administrator account and go next so now the configuration is successful and the internet indicator has turned blue here as you can see previously it was red so we can connect to the wi-fi here this is the wi-fi name and let's connect to this one so we can enter the password and connect currently it is connected to the huawei router as you can see but it is connected without internet the phone has not detected any internet so let's go to the huawei ai live app but here it is saying that it's connected to the network that is my telecom name and uh, it is connected to the 4g network but i cannot access the internet the reason will be the apn settings so let's go to the apn settings here so go to show more and go to apn settings here it is selected the apn settings automatically so we may need to change it so let's change that so you can easily get the apn settings by searching online for example in my case this is the apn setting and i just search it online so let's enter it so here you can see the add button click on add uh, so i'll enter my apn name so th that's it these are my apn settings so if you click ok then it should be connected to this apn the color of the internet indicator will change and then it will connect to the apn so now the wi-fi indicator has changed as you can see so now it is connected so now let's try the internet speed test so it has found the server so let's try again the download speed is 12.5 mbps and the upload speed is 4.3 mbps so these are the comparison my mobile got 10.1 mbps download speed in the case of the huawei router it is 12.5 mbps uh, that is the 4g network but if you put, put this router outdoors then it will get a much better speed so i'll try that later now let's connect to my main broadband internet this is a 1 gbps connection so i'll plug it here and now it is showing that it is connected to the broadband connection here now this is the speed test of the broadband network As you can see it has the download speed of 315 mbps and the upload speed of 174 mbps so that is the dual broadband turbo so just plug in your uh, broadband internet connection to the wan port here and it also has a 4g sim and once you disconnect the internet connection then it will switch automatically to the 4g broadband as you can see it has already switched to the 4g broadband and you can see the change in the internet speed so if you have uh, both the broadband connection as well as the LTE connection then you will have a very reliable internet connection means that it will not disconnect in case of any failure and if you don't have wired internet broadband connection to your home location then this uh, router will be very helpful and you can also connect all the four LAN ports to your computer or devices when you are using uh, in the LTE or the 4G mode if you can also connect the 4G antennas here for better speed for now I don't have the external antennas but i can put this router outdoors and check the internet speed let's check that now i came to the roof of my building to test the speed again since i don't have the external antennas for the router i want to test the speed of the router outdoors now the router is powered on with the sim inside and i'm waiting for the internet indicator to turn blue the internet indicator has turned blue now and you can see that it has full signal strength 
now let's test the internet speed again before that let's confirm that the Wi-Fi is connected to this router that is the Huawei B316 router so it is connected let's start the test the download speed is 21.6 Mbps and the upload speed is 19.6 Mbps and these are the results of the download and upload test now let's remove the SIM card and attach it to the mobile phone and I have selected the LTE network instead of the 5G network for a fair comparison let's test the speed again The download speed is 20.6 Mbps and the upload speed is 44.3 Mbps and these are the test results. The download speed of the Huawei router was better but the upload speed of the mobile phone is better than the Huawei router. So this was the outdoor test of the 4G Huawei router. So there was the speed test and performance of the router uh, using the 4G network as well as the broadband network. So now let's go through some of the features of the router uh, using the Huawei AI Life app. As you can see, currently it is connected to the router and here uh, you can see the used uh, data that is the 119 MB has been used right now and you can also set a plan. So if you set a plan here, you can limit monthly amount of usage here because some of the 4G networks are not unlimited. Uh, so we can set the amount of data that can be permitted to be used using the 4G network. So that is quite good. Just now I have used 119 MB. That is because of the testing. And you can also see the dual broadband turbo. You can check the speed of the dual broadband turbo here as well. So if you connect to the broadband, then we should be able to see the dual broadband speed of the network here. So you can see the broadband has also been connected and the mobile data has also been connected. But the currently the mode is manual. That means that you will switch to the 4G network only when the broadband is not available. So you can also go to auto. Here it says that you can access mobile data and broadband data at the same time to increase the speed as well as a stable internet connection. So you can set it to auto if you want. Now it is auto and you can connect to both the networks at the same time. So that is the dual broadband turbo and it is quite good. And you can see the number of devices that are connected. It also has game acceleration. So it currently is turned on. And we can go to show more and see the settings. The Wi-Fi setting here. You can change the Wi-Fi networks, SSID and so on here. And the password. And you also have the guest Wi-Fi option. So you can set the guest Wi-Fi name as well as the password here. So that is a very useful feature. And uh, and here you can see your the messages that you get to your mobile number. That means that since it has the SIM card here, it can also receive messages as you can see and APN settings we have already seen if the internet doesn't work you need to set the APN manually and let's go to advanced settings in advanced settings you can turn on the mobile data or turn off the mobile data and you can also set data roaming here and you also have the factory reset for the router and those are the settings of the router and I think this router has a lot of features in my case I'll be using this router for a remote location where I will connect my security cameras at the lo remote location and you can check the smart devices using this Wi-Fi router so it is very useful for those kind of applications so that was the setup and the review of this 4G router and I have also conducted a speed test comparison between the router and my mobile phone here so the advantages of the router is that it is portable and you can set it up anywhere where you have a 4G network and you can access broadband internet and if you have a wired internet connection then you can also use this router using that wired internet connection without the 4G network and you can also use both of them for reliability as well as increment of speed and it can be connected to the Huawei AI Life app and using this app you can control the every setting of the router so that is good so you don't need to go to the web interface and I want to tell you that the web interface will be in Chinese so better you use the Huawei AI Life app so if you like this router you can purchase it from the affiliate link that i have given in my video description it will also help my channel so if you like this review please like it and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching i'll see you next time